Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly we just waited. I got, I got Vinny go. Maybe life in Celieri's yeah, school. Is someone flex on me in the middle of a wrestling, wrestling match? I'm pulling out the tool. <laughs> I'm gonna renovate this yeah. bitch. Thanks. All right, boss. What you got for me? What am I renovating? Why are there so many damn doors in this building? <laughs> there he is. Sorry, I'm late. Take a seat. And it's collection day, boys. So, Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. We'll make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem. Boss. Oh, I got you. Don't lay hands on You'll be very interested. No other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Got you. Hopefully he didn't cut the brakes on this one. Oh, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. I got you. I got you. He probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story Somebody about some here. guy he whacked 20 years ago. Finally get our tool to renovate bitches. All right. I don't know who built those stairs, but I don't like it. So my man, how's it going? I saw this, and I thought of you. I don't know how that. <laughs> Do I look like a gun? Or are you saying I look like a tool? Got him at the fair a couple of times. Right, that don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Got you. What? Do, what do you mean the sales off? Not at me, you moron. Hey, what? Why can't? Hello? I kill guys for. Come on, there we go. Shoot, show me what you bang. Ba, ba, ba. Brain all up the walls. Okay. That was weird. Show me a reload. I got you. I open the chamber and away you go. Right. Why were there empty shells in here, Vinny? Needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind some and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. Can't guarantee the second one, but I will get behind something. The Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. Wonder when I'll be able to change. I forgot when I'll be able to change clothing. I know I get a house at some point. I just forgot when. What is this? Oh, with the depression and stock market and all that. You you know how to get into one of these, Tommy? Open the door. Go through. Reach inside. Easy. And then afternoon to fix the window back up. Watch. And learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Mm. I just don't be a magician with the brakes. Thank you. All right. Come Pick on, this car Tommy. Line. Show me what. Okay, it's a car. You got it. Thank you, Ralphie. He's so nice. Have a good day, for fellas. I wonder, uh, I don't think we ever see an interaction First with got out. He runs Sam and Ralphie. Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again. Seems I wonder how so. Sam treats Ralphie. Yeah, Obviously, bad. we all know how Polly treats Ralphie, like a fucking second class citizen. I just don't remember. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think Sam ever interacts with, with uh, Ralphie. Huh. Polly's kind of mean to Ralphie, though. I don't like it. I don't like it. I think. I, th I think he's kind of justified cutting the brake lines. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Just hopefully not this car. All right, our first collection. Time to make a withdrawal. Okay, this is it. Oh, wait, sorry, sorry. Watch Always what we do today, Tom. forgot that part in uh, driving smooth, school. It's Always park in the glowing spot. Put up a fight. Sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. I got you. My good man. 
What it do? I'm here for the money. How are you? We're good. How's little Julia? What is this? This letter is notification that you are in default of your obligation to make payments on your agreed loan. The oh, he's in debt. He'll begin foreclosure on the business and the home. So little now, she's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. That's good to hear, Al. And we're out here collecting debt. Real good. Oh, I guess shouldn't have taken out so many loans. I guess I don't even know. <laughs> I feel so bad for him, but at the same time, like I'm kind of in the mafia, so like, got yeah, place to do things to be, or th things to do, place to be. Now you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no, nothing like that. Good. So you got the money. I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us. How's it going, ma'am? Where's the money? Perron, fetch! Roche succhiate il sangue! It's on the table, brown envelope! Sorry, I don't speak it. I'm assuming Italian? Via di qui! Lasciate in pace! With that kind of language, I'm assuming it's Italian. I, that, that felt offensive. I know it's not Spanish because I didn't understand it. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. I'm assuming it's not Portuguese. It kind of gives off Italian, doesn't it? Was that Italian, guys? No, we're not. All right. I got cursed out by a grandma, so I feel I feel violated. Get in here. Sam, can you hurry up? You got two legs but no brain cells with how slow you're walking. Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallo. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Ah. Guy used to run this I remember next this place, one. Tom. Feel bad his for the nephew. The hands is about to catch. Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, nope. Oh, hey, sorry. Rafi, I said, Tom sure can drive. <laughs> no working after hours, cleaning up after me and Sam. <laughs> no chance of that, huh? <laughs> can you continue the story and stop commentating on my slight hit? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. We are here. This is it. Loading spot. I got it this time. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. All right. We should go inside and see what own. he does. Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam, he needs to let it out on his own. She gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Yep, there he goes. You can hear the yelling. <laughs> yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, the guy ended up in a wheelchair. What was that wheelchair doing there? And why did Polly throw him into it? Just a weird situation, huh? Isn't it, Sam? Why would... Why did we keep wheels on the goes. outside and on the on side work. like that in, in the old cars? I just realized that. I didn't even <laughs> notice that. Kind of weird. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's <laughs> nephew's guy's money is ours next week with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? <laughs> he's so casual about it. Yeah, that's there's more blood Once on Once he's here. back on his feet. You want to come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all. I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you ought to... No, Polly. 
This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot? I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. Mm. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew oh, I was shaking his my... <laughs> God, every single time yeah, I play this mission, I always miss my ways. turn here because I'm too busy listening to the... The Sammy and Polly trying to give me a shit myself. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. Fair enough. I wonder... Anyone else how big was drifting back in the day? I always look at old you tires like this and they're so thin. Bully. He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee-deep in shit, and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. Well, happy to oblige. Nice. I'm pretty much a garbage man, but cool. Garbage men make a lot of money, by the way. Not sure if anybody out here knew that, but the amount of money you make for being a garbage man is incredible. It's a stressful job because you're on, like, a time clock. There it is. But the amount of money you can make being a garbage man for the bad association that that job has of being like here, Tom. a very we'll low end job, the amount of okay. money, the income, the dinero, insane. Good thing I can't read. Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sam. They're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Polly's a real one, by the way. Just hang on. The man cares a lot about his friends. Can I? I've never actually checked if I can open this. I cannot. Okay. There are a lot of places I didn't bother exploring when I first played this game. Let me take him out. You can always, uh, but there's two. There's two ways you can play this uh, mission. You can always just go in guns a blazing, or you can go and be sneaky. I do a mixture of both. Mainly because after a certain point, I don't know how you're supposed to sneak around. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is a way. I, there has to be a way. There's no way there isn't a way. B but my small brain can't figure it out. There's a guy in the bathroom somewhere around here, too. Okay. God, it's so dark in there. I don't... There we go. So there's a guy in here. Let's take him out. I think you're in a bedroom because you're going to sleep. That man threw his pistol. All right, let me grab this. Okay. And I can't check the wardrobe, I don't think. All right. Okay, we're good here. There is somebody in one of these rooms. 
there's a shotgun in one of these rooms. And in the bathroom, I think this is the shotgun. Yeah, it is. Okay. And in the bathroom, there's a guy that you can actually hear taking a mean dump. A mean dookie. Alright. There's going to be a guy behind this door. Oh. It's not this door? Huh. Maybe it was just the one guy. I don't remember this mission too well. I just remember that I couldn't... There is a guy behind this door, though. He's definitely in there. You can see him. <laughs> Taking the poo-poo. Uh, you can actually beat him up. <laughs> you can hear every single... He's pooping with his pants on, by the way. Just saying, not very sanitary. Pardon me. What did you... Mm. Ah, stop resist... Okay. Stop resisting... Ugh. Ugh. Ah, smells like victory. <laughs> you can see he cracked himself right there. <laughs> what were you reading? God, I wish I had better vision. Ooh. Ooh. Is that toilet paper the wrong way? That toilet paper is the wrong way. That's incredible. You got you kind of deserve that. If if for nothing else other than putting the toilet paper in the wrong way. Let's see. Now I'm pretty sure there's nobody out here. Pretty sure I'll be fine out here. It, this this mission will be terrible for me if Polly could somehow die from bleeding out. But I'm pretty sure this is everybody up here. Yeah, there's pro I think there's something I can collect and look at up here. But I don't think it's that important. All right. But here's here's the part that I don't understand how to save Sam without. Just straight up shooting up the place because the guy is sitting right here. Guys get all the best jobs. Oh wait, this is the first time that he's actually not just standing there. Oh, that's wild. Let me look at this. Okay, that's it. I just wanted to look at it. Okay. It's actually the first time that I haven't... <laughs> Usually he's standing right there. Fire real quick. Perfect. How could it be mine? How, do, how the hell does she even know? Hey, he's walking this way. Perfect. I'm gonna sneak by. Take him out once he passes by there. He don't perfect. know shit. Place is Take him out. <laughs> easy. Is he easy? I don't think there is much of a way here. Either way, I don't think I want to spend much time just doing this. Suppressed yawn. Oh no. Oh wait, he's not checking. Okay. He don't know shit. Place is quiet so great. usually here, what I'll do is I'll sneak by here, and this is where I start just laying, lighting it up because they're all together. Bah! Don't need those knees. Bah! Bah! This guy comes in with a bat. Remember? I remember him. Kind of a weirdo for doing that. Come on, poke your head out. Poke your head out. Oh, my controller is losing his mind. Come on, he's right there. Ah. God. All right. Just a bunch of warning shots. Don't worry about me. All right, we should be good. I think that's all of them. It's kind of weird this man ran at me with a baseball bat. All right, Sam. How's it going? Feeling good? Never looked better, buddy. went to work on you, buddy. Come on. You'd be all right. Hopefully, Polly's all right too. You're tough as nails. God, but what? Bro, Tommy is the most dramatic. Get the money, Tom. Man got smacked oh, by a briefcase and got launched across the pool table. Oh god, I gotta get the money. Where is Sam? He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money. No worries, I'm on it. All right, you guys, don't die. That's all I got for you. Word of advice. Okay. Oof. Good thing. Can I switch guns here? I can't. I forgot. 
There we go. He's dead. He should be dead. No, he's not. There we go. Now he's dead. I don't... I never learned <clears throat> how it works when it comes to the little circle. I'm pretty sure if I just hold like that, I will eventually... Or I'm not able to actually hit him. But I don't remember. I don't know if I should be doing it this way, like that. And just spam when I'm close by. Which I think is the way to do it. I never learned. I never learned how. Pardon me. Idiots. Damn. Where'd y'all learn how to drive? Oh my god. Where'd I learn how to drive? <laughs> okay. Okay, my guy. All right, this is the one though. Damn, that's the hit him. There we go. Yep, I'm aware that I have to. Re oh, I almost hit that. Oh my god. There we go. Whew. All right, he's dead. Let me get the money. What it cost. What it meant to be on the inside. Huh. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to yep, being that is a door. Nobody. It's yellow. Almost in the 1940s. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabby to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat. Mm. And the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money. Lord and over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Celieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Celieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. Mm. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. Oh, this is the part where <laughs> Like ruin the boxer's life. I really like that every mission in the Mafia series, again, Mafia 3 not included, probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. It's just fun to do. They're just fun. God damn it! Moron! No mission ever feels like it's closed. boring. Look at this. Oh no. Jesus buried. Joseph Dunn, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? <laughs> no. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. The grills are bent up, is all. I mean, I got a cousin. I got. Yep. Damn. Well, maybe I maybe I was a little too forgiving when I said ruined yeah. his life. Someone spun your tail, pal. Because you got an informant right there says Merle made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true too. That was a little more than ruined his still, life. Kinda Merle ended his life. Left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. On Don Square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Or maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, hmm. have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. 
We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elseways it was just the usual routine. We're running booze, out for protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect, small time. But, I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Hmm? Hmm, interesting. I really want to go and change clothes. I need him to buy his house already. It's crazy that you can work a minimum wage job back in the day. Tommy. Was it? No, no, there was no minimum so wage quickly. at this yeah, point, sure I don't think. Thing, boss. What do you but you mean? can work like at you know, a, a race up. mom and pop shop oh, yeah, and be yeah, able to yeah, buy a house. Money on the local it was incredible. Mikey Dunn. That's the Nowadays, I can barely afford an apartment. Kid, a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Eh. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to cow jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race. And he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. Mm. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. What is Black Thursday? You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Merle's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Drink here. Nice. As soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Oh, I gotta talk to Ralph. Forgot. You kidding? Feels like we're packing this place up and moving it to the stand. Kind of wish I knew Italian when I played this game. Like I, big fan of being Hispanic. Love it. <laughs> but <laughs> I wish more games. I was with you. You go on ahead. Can I, can I get in here? I'll deal with this. I wish there were more. Uh, I can't think of any like his not Hispanic but Spanish oh, games yeah. that have like Spanish so be a nice. part of the dialogue. Those brides, you know, so kind of like how this game has just Italian, not be a major focus point, but it's kind of like part of it. You know. Hey, Titi Tommy. I guess like Tropico Six probably the closest, but or Tropico in general. Kind of hard to miss. Silieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Got to send him a message. So. Tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. Mm. My friend Bobby is a guard for a little dough. He'll show you where it is and look someplace else while you t -t -t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sh sure. And then there's this other guy, L -L Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju -Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. But Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then and, and, and the next guy, he's an ass. <laughs> I like it. My favorite part about Ralphie is that you know when he's being serious, like incredibly serious about somebody, when he does not stutter when he describes them. Let me grab a car from the garage. Can, can my controller stop acting up, please? All right. I need one with very high speed. The transmission doesn't really matter too much for me because I drive automatic. Should we go with this? Maybe we should go with a uh, Tomahawk. Because we want to be fast. So, yeah, we'll go with Tomahawk. Okay, let's go. Oh. <laughs> Oopsies. Let me put on the speedometer limiter real quick. Because there's an officer in front of us. Actually, let me get catch up to the officer first, and then I'll slow it down. All right, there we go. 
I think I made a mistake by picking the tomahawk. I forgot how difficult it is to drive a motorcycle in this game. They just don't maneuver well. The good thing is they are so fast. So on a straight, I can just let it go. But making turns is so incredibly difficult. This kind of reminds me of Gotham Knights from the gameplay I've seen. I really wish Gotham Knights... Oh, there's another guy driving a motorcycle. I really wish Gotham Knights was more like Arkham, the Arkham series, rather than trying to be Marvel's Avengers, but DC related. I, just, I heard it's, it's a decent game, not bad, not as bad as people are making it out to be, but definitely not as good of a game as I hoped it would be. Isn't that Dino's car? You Bobby? Yep. We can take my car through to the garage. It's a ways off. Any friend of Ralph, he's a friend of mine. You got the money, sure. <laughs> Why does he have Dino's car? Or does everybody have this car? I don't I don't remember this. Alright. <sighs> Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a thing than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> the car's here, right? Oh. Blowing spot. Almost forgot. Okay. This is it. Is it four? It is. Okay. Come on, buddy. We're on a time crunch here. You get off at 1.30. Nice. Here she is. 1929 Carazella C series. Best in class. It's a shame you got it right. Why do they need it? If they see this down a row, hmm. cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it in one piece too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Breton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. <laughs> I heard. Got it. Why does this car have a spare tire? Oh no. My bad. Completely forgot how bad this car is at making turns. Especially during... I don't remember if this game has... Uh, the whiz kind of messed up already. I don't remember if this game has physics when it comes to the wetness of the street. I don't think it does. This car is so damn fast. Oh no, oh no, hold on. Come on. Alright. Maybe I shouldn't drive on the wrong side of the road with the fastest car I've ever driven in this game. Oh my god, why is there so much traffic? You're good, you're good. Oh my god. I completely forgot they actually do go after you because they don't know. See, why would I assume it's stolen? That's kind of racist. Is it not? Because an Italian is driving a sports car? Oh my god. We should be good here. This is a straight. The guy's got in the way in North Park oh, I can't even take that way. There's an officer there. We gotta take a slight detour. And I'm on a time crunch. And the officer's looking right that way. That's so annoying. If I cross through here, I don't think you'll see me. He did not. Bless. Why is that officer coming his way? Okay. <laughs> Ooh. All right, we made it. We're we're in the clear. All right. 
Oh, here we go, buddy. I need you to make this car not good. A little damage if you can just also pull out those dents. Sammy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. This can't be comfortable, right? Like, there's no, there's no headrest on this vehicle. Hello, you. Okay, she's done. Thanks, Lucas. I gotta get back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey. Tell Mr. Salieri, I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hmm. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Fair enough. Okay. Drive careful. Kind of, the AI kind of hit that in a way that I would never. I'm just going to cut through here. Yeah, so with this, you now have to be... So, from what I remember, the car will not only pull, you can't go too fast for too long, or it'll overheat. If you hit this, if you put it on the, the speed limiter, it actually will not overheat. But now the vehicle will randomly pull left or right. While driving. So you got to be very, very careful with it. And you can't go too fast. Except when you see cops. You got to go. Got to go. Got to go. Got to go. There we go. But like on here on the straight, usually I can just book it. But like it's pulling left and right randomly. On top of that. God. He more than just made this thing misbehave. This thing is downright naughty. Uh, you can't go too fast or it'll overheat. And I believe, if I remember correctly, it turns... Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh, my God. Okay, that officer's looking the wrong way. Yeah, so if you go the regular speed, it will not misbehave. It will not be naughty. If you go too fast, it will be very naughty. I don't like that. I don't like how naughty things get when you go too fast. Nailed it. Oh my god, he almost drove into me. Right. We should be fine. All cars, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. All right, we, we should be good. Let's drive over this. Nice. Oh. I still don't understand the reason for the spare tire on, on the side of this sports car. Like, was he going to stop in the middle of the track to replace this tire? You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you have a crew for that, no? We haven't hit a single thing since I started this, by the way. The worse the car is, the better I do. Hmm. In twisting. Okay. Slow it down a little bit. Right, we're almost there. We should be good now. Shouldn't be an issue anymore. All right. I'm just going to go at regular speed here. Because I don't want to accidentally hit something. Okay. There we go. Oof. All right. We made it. We're all good. How's it going, my man? Hit the park it? I do. Oh, you're back. Thank Christ. Easy. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. Nice. Oh wait, never when I when I said earlier that there aren't any races that like are bad. I completely forgot about this race. This is one of the most hated races in the game. I've never failed this mission. Now that I'm recording, I probably will. 
but so many people complained about this race because it is so incredibly difficult. At times, it feels like the game is scripting you to lose. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom to start pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Ah, sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moment. Oh. Jeffrey. Onto the track? I just realized you flicked that cigarette onto the track. Is the boss okay? A tiny oh, yeah, cigar. Nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw. Send him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough a locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. But Don wants to win. But more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Fair enough. Fair play. I got you. Yeah. I understand. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. Alright, uh, I'll do my thing. But this race is so toxic at times. Everything's looking good, Ralphie. They're lined up in. They're ready to start. Oh, Mario Kart. All right, we're good. In trouble. There's something up with this car. Lichtenberg is out. The favorite is out. Asshole! Ah, crap! Got to be kind of careful here. Oh, sorry, my small brain decided to drift on sand. All right. The purpose of like half of these people is purely to keep you in the back, which is the most annoying part about this, because they never actually switch positions as far as I can tell. Like, they will purposely just play super aggressive against you and try to stop you from getting to the front. Like, like, what are you doing? What, what are we? What are we doing here? And someone's someone's calling my phone. Can't text and drive. Can't call and drive. All right, let's slow down here. We're good. We're good though. We're fine. I'm gonna hit this right here. There we go. Let's skip a little ahead. Oh my god. I'm kind of behind where I want to be. I feel like if I was in fourth, I'd be fine. Alright, we're good. I was never good at racing games. So, this mission has always been difficult, but I've never failed it. So I'm hoping, hoping we can keep the streak alive. Pardon. Replace. All right, we're good. If I can grab first on this lap, I will feel safe a little bit. I just I can't take a risk to that point. So we're in second now. All right, I can grab first. Here. Oh. Come on. I kind of wish... I wouldn't mind if there was, like, a game mode where you can just do this. Oh, no. Okay. He's going to hit that, and I'm not going to risk it. Oh, blessed. Blessed. 
I was not gonna risk that jump, but that man risked it. He risked it all. I'm kinda, I kinda have a decent lead over every other place. I can play it safe now. I can play it so safe right now. I don't have to risk it too much. I can just, you know, just take my time. Follow traffic laws. Do what I need to do. Don't need to do much else. Destroyed the guy who was in first place, apparently. Bro, there's not, there's not a single person near me. Can I hold on? I got this. Like, I got gorilla grip. But that sounds weird to say in context of racing. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I got, I got worried there for a second. Sort of drifting on sand, realized. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay. We should be good. I honestly, I don't think there's a way for them to beat me at this point. I'd have to royally mess myself up to lose this. So we should be good. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No mistakes being made here. Don't worry. All right. Again? I'm not risking it. I'm sure at least one of them is going to try and hit that jump. All right. We are killing it. No, nah, we're, we're, we're killing. We're, we're doing great here. That's, that's the point I was trying to make when I when I mentioned that earlier. I, I don't know what I was what I tried to say there. Anyway, that's the so what I was trying to say earlier was a lot of people complained about this mission. I never had an issue with it. I always felt like it was relatively easy. The the annoying part was at the beginning. I think the issue people have is that they try to do like some wild moves to get first place. If you play it safe, you're going to win a vast majority of the time because the AI will purposely make mistakes. Like the the guy who was in front did not need to take that shortcut. I would have needed to take that shortcut to, to, to pass him at some point. Hey, Tommy! There's <laughs> our winner! Hey, Tommy. Just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. Nice. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You ain't us all a lot of money today. Emerald's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Nah. But, uh, maybe I'll buy my mom a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Go get yourself a drink. That one guy, it looks like John Cena in the back. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so... Drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> oh, Paulie's drunk. There. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy, Polly. He's so drunk, he's going to get hit by a parked car. <laughs> parked yeah, car? Okay. What accent is that? Safe. Parked car. All right. Where have you seen Polly? Polly and the rest of your pals have drunk through half my bar already. You found him yet? That's all for another mm. year, folks. Ralphie, you seen the guy you want to cut the brake lines of? started racing here 20 years ago most guys did it didn't even make the finish ah, magic's in the motor Ralph I just showed him where to go hey you seen Paulie no no he said he was uh, hungry or something okay you enjoy yourself All right, so he's not over there what's up Frank got any news for me not to we in the just put the my daughter through another year of school no. <laughs> hey, anything for the Coletis well hmm. enjoy the moment but the deal with Polly before he embarrassed himself and the family. I 
will not let the boss's day end this time of year. You don't have to worry, Frank. Uh, Frank. Great race, champ. Mm. Oh, Polly. Don't embarrass us now. Great race, champ. Hey, last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dough, that means you're safe. Hey, you seen Polly? Guy's soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard. Mm. This your first time Who's that guy? Trip? Is that Lucas? Last year I heard the motors from my apartment, but that's as close as I've gotten before. That's like a Midwestern accent. How'd you drive after the tuna? Tried to go sideline at a five brick walls, but we made it. You seen Polly any place? Came by five minutes ago, maybe. Looked like it had a smell from the barrel. Sounds about right. Thanks, Lucas. Hmm. Let's figure this out over here. There he is. Right? That's not Polly. God, I wish you could move a little faster there, uh, Tommy. What's going on, my man? Have you seen a drunk man walking sideways, I've been told? If your friend keeps this up, the other guy is going to send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big day at the track's over. Look at him. Look at him. Polly, what are you doing? What are you doing? Says moo, and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you got to go home. That's an asshole. He should show some respect. Well, that's true, but I'm saying you got to go home too before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay then. I guess. Let's go, Jim. Come on, Polly. Polly, don't you fall on me. You're walking normal now. Remember back in the day, cars didn't have the, the middle divider You're thing. good today, Tommy, with the, the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said, this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. <laughs> and here we are. Definitely have my license. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. Put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a some kind of race car driver. We all got our you're doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the Don and your mind's racing. Done some bad shit, Tom. Mm. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... He's got hit by that trolley. Whoever the hell he goes home to. Hey, Polly, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I think I buy the house after this, right? So I can change my outfit a little bit. It's kind of wild to think there were trolleys just running around. I think there still are in like San Francisco. Take me to the ladies. Take me to the blue tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies. Take me to those sweet patooties. Ah, you don't need sweet patooties. You need a sweet bedtime. Taking you home. You need a sweet dream. More classy. Ah, uh, home? You brought me home? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe that's. Yeah. A good idea. Yeah. Well, okay, I'm gonna. Don't throw up in the car. Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna. 
Yeah, I, I don't feel so good. Not in the car now, Polly. Not in the car. 